minute. Let's just do it. Yeah, she's a heavy pressure character. Yeah, her 422 is back. It's not an overhead like it, in the original MKX it was in XL. It was not. But it's fast. But it is fast. It has great range. Um, then she has a bunch of really good new normals. She has this overhead. It's forward four. It's super fast. I think Chevy hit me with that about four times in a row. The yeah, other day. I can see that. So mad. And that is complemented by a tremendous low that actually has a ton of reach. And she goes into this creepy crawler move, which I absolutely love using. So you can see neither of the 50-50 are going to launch you for a combo, but they're very fast and very, very irritating. Mm -hmm. um, she also has this string, which I just absolutely love because of this part. I, she literally pukes on you, and then <laughs> it's super fun to do. <laughs> and we got to see your throws because they're both great. She's just hitting you with her babies. And then this one <laughs> is too fun. I love the little gesture she's doing, the back and forth. That's awesome. We, we need to make the sound effects. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I don't know why we're not. And then forward one three is this really good advancing, very quick high move that can go into all our special moves. So let's go over special moves. Let's do it. Avapositor Rush is back. It's just like you remember it. Really good chip damage, great combo under, great pressure tool. Ooh. Then she has a bunch of new moves. She, I really like this projectile where she, I love the gesture she's doing. She sends out one of her babies and it's a slow moving projectile with Good startup, but it, it's really good to let it go and then. And then they, they're not like a traditionally yes. straight. They actually exactly. are up and down. So depending upon if you're ducking or not, they may hit you or they may yes. not because of the path that they fly. It's very, very hard to jump, and jumping is good against Devora because, you know, her normals have such good range at taking up within range. So I think if you can, like, she's not going to win like a projectile battle with like Liu Kang or something, but sure. if she can establish her projectile space, I think these things are so, great. So what's up with her babies? Why are her babies hanging out over on Air Black? I wasn't ready to get to that. Well, okay then. Uh, Puddle is back. She has to actually control it close, medium, or far. You can see she puts it out. There's a bunch of delay, and then the opponent's going to want to get out of dodge or block it, and that's when, again, she goes in with this. Very or similar to Yes. If she amplifies it, it actually happens immediately, <coughs> and she gets combos. You know, theoretically. Theoretically. When you're not old and bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just throw that, Steve. That'll fix it. There you go. And then she has this anti-air grab, which is one of her chief combo winners. This has a crushing blow if you anti-air with it. Now it'll actually do dot damage, which everyone makes fun of me for saying dot damage, but... Who makes fun of me for saying that? Multiple people are tweeting me, because it's damage over time. I'm saying damage over time damage. That's, that, I feel like that's normal. That's Everybody says that. Just like ATM that's Machine. Yeah. ATM Machine I don't love. But. If she amplifies it, even after the crushing blow, she actually gets a restand. Where you, you can, can throw, throw something, something at them. Yeah. Yeah. To amplify it. You are pressing the hell yeah. out of that button. They start vomiting and a baby spews. Oh. Yeah, isn't that nice? So she injects you with babies. Yeah, she's trying to help you. Mm -hmm. it's, it's the miracle of birth. Okay. Moving on. All right. <laughs> so anyway, let's go over the loadouts I made. So the first loadout I gave her, my opinion, her coolest new move, which is Widow's Kiss. She teleports, comes from the drown, drops down. It's super fast. And if she amplifies it, she gets a combo. This is my favorite dang thing. In the game. Yeah, this is just that's. <laughs> super, <laughs> no, that's so he good. He looks so cozy. You know, I, cozy with a K. Of yeah, course. I'm so glad you picked a guy with a with a hat. <laughs> <laughs> and his cape. Yeah. yeah. Um, this is a combo starter. It's a great anti-zoning tool. So, like I was saying. Yeah, because if you jump, you're getting caught. Yep. That's basically it. If you move, you're getting caught. So Absolutely. while it, her, a lot of her stuff has slower startup and it's hard to get going, if the opponent, you know, again, the example I used, Liu Kang's very fast fireballs, if he dares and you read him, he's going to get combo. Or cozy. Yeah. He's going to become cozy. He's going to become a father. So uh, <laughs> now we're talking about the bugs. Yeah, what's up with little babies? So several different moves leave babies, you can see. And then she has this move. Where, for half of her offensive stamina, she can call them back and they do damage. And this does not have, like, it doesn't matter where the opponent, what reaction they're in. Where they could be standing there, they cannot block it, it's, go it's going to hit. Right, and she can call the babies back no matter what the opponent's doing. Right. Like, you're just taking yes. damage from the little It's guys. pretty much free damage at the cost of stamina, 
and her startup. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of risk, and it's not doing a ton of damage, but it is a, I use it as a rounder all the time. It's kind of insulting to die to the babies. It's also something that you can use when they're spun, you can go for it, and then actually have time to do a combo. It is basically free damage for the cost of your stamina. If you're not afraid to use your stamina, it's great. Sure. Cool. What so that's, that's actually the law that I use the most. That's what I've been using in the lab. She's one of my favorite characters lately. But I do have one more loadout we can check out. We'll do it. Actually, first let's do her crushing blow. Or, uh, sorry, fatal blow. Boom. Alright, so one more. And this is going to be kind of a trap-based pressure one. Mm -hmm. So the first move I gave her is flipping out. Oh, I, I so love cool. the alien, like, very yeah. strange costume. So flipping out is a half-screen, super-fast overhead that she can actually do from the ground or the air. Ooh. It's not going to do a lot of damage, but it has a crushing blow that actually leads to a combo. The That's requirement awesome. is you have to hit it twice in a row. Okay. So the idea was you're playing the game, you hit the overhead. Now the opponent, as they're getting up, remember she has the low, and they're going to know if you hit it with a second time, it's loaded and then she's going to get a combo. Again, you know, if I wasn't old and bad. Right. I also gave her Pooping Bug, where she puts a bug out, and it actually... And the bug has <laughs> a bug. Yeah, the bug gives birth to a bug that then will go to the opponent and hit them. And this is, because it's slow moving, the idea would be the opponent's standing there blocking, she puts the bug out. Now, that's coming, and she can go in, and the opponent is going to have to respect that bug. I'm not doing it close enough. All right. There, and you see, the opponent's gonna wanna block it, which is gonna open up throws for 50-50, whatever you wanna do. And the Amplified is super strong. It actually will it put spew multiple out ones. three of them. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Triplets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she is truly the hive queen. Her and babies are having babies. Yeah, the babies are having babies. They're multiplying like bunnies. <laughs> And then lastly, she has, I gave her an air version, where the babies explode and then seemingly go off to heaven. And, <laughs> and it, they will hit the opponent. And she can amplify it and do multiple. Oh my goodness. And there'll be three on screen that are go slow moving upwards projectiles that the opponent has to block. And again, if they're sitting there blocking, she goes in for her 50-50 or her throws or a jumping or whatever, and they... And she just plays her game at that point. Yeah, she plays her game while her bugs are doing her work Doing the work, yeah. locking them down for the most part, so she can go in and get to 50 minutes. Yeah, or they're mesmerized by the, the bugs that are piecing out. <laughs> right on. Cool. Yeah, I think Devora, I, very interesting trap character, setup character. I think if you liked her pressure, pressure setups, you know, set play design from the last game, I think you'll be super, super happy. What about a... Uh, am I allowed to ask about a four fatality? I think we can do that. Let's do it. Let's play a match with her. Okay, let's see. Very excited to be able to show Devora finally. Yeah. Uh, I know that 